Here we have an NVIDIA RTX A2000 6 gigs video card that came in for repair. I have not worked with this card before. The card looks tiny, small, looks like a $50 card. I do not know how much that card is going for. Why isn't the camera focusing? I must have pressed a button. I was fixing the HDMI cable that broke off and I must have pressed the button. So, oh here, here. I did not press any buttons. The camera just like to see my beautiful eyes if I have them exposed. So the card looks like a $50 card. I went online and that card is like $700. So the card is not cheap. Otherwise I would not have worked on it. I have not worked on this card before, but how difficult can it be? Only a few components on the board. Okay. Few inductors, few capacitors, and for the most part, all SMD components. I honestly do not know where to begin because I have no prior experience working on this card, but we'll figure it out. The customer wrote, the GPU doesn't seem to be working. Tried it in different computers, removed the cooler fan to look for obvious visual failures. Didn't see anything. If you're not using a microscope, there is a very high chance, like 99.9%, .9 you're not going to be able to see anything wrong with the board. If you think that you're going to be able to see components with your naked eye or with a magnifier, you need to think again because that's not possible. Unless, of course, you are Superman. The video card does not have any power connectors, no 12 volt connectors. The only 12 volt connector is down at the PCIe connector. The first three pins. That's 12 volts. We have 3.3 volts here. If I am to guess, probably one of those inductors is 1.8 volts. The other is PAX. I do not see any inductors under the core. And those here, we're going to have to figure out. Right now, I have the video card connected to the PCIe adapter, which is connected to a Dell motherboard. And all we have to do is turn the power supply on. And let's see what happens. The card is on, no lights, nothing. Six beeps. Six beeps means the motherboard was not able to detect this video card. Let me do some quick measurements. I'm going to look at the inductors that I think is 1.8 MPEX on the left. So if we measure the first one in voltage mode, what do we have? We have zero. What about the other one? The other one is 1.79. So one of them is 1.8 volts. The one that's closer to the GPU. This one here, the one that's closer to the GPU. This one is 1.8 volts. And this one, we may have to turn off the power supply and back on because the voltage may appear for a few seconds. Is this a bulging inductor down on the bottom? Probably not. So let me turn the power supply off. Put the lights down a bit. And now we're going to turn the power supply back on. And I'm going to quickly measure here. What do we have? Zero. What about this one here? We have five volts here. Zero here. 1.8. So we know that five volts is here. 1.8. We're not going to get 1.8 if we do not have five volts. So by getting 1.8, we know that we have five. What else can we measure? Let's measure the inductors on the right side. I'm going to turn the power supply off, back on, and quickly measure here. We have zero. We can quickly measure here. We have zero. So zero is everywhere. What's going on? What about this inductor on the bottom here? Zero. Zero. All right. Turn off the power supply. Go to ohms mode. What's the resistance on our 1.8 volt line? We are reading 370 ohms, which is much higher than usual. Usually it's around 226. 
I do not know if that's the case with this card, but we are reading 370 ohms. No prior experience working on this card, so what we're going to have to do is quick visual inspection. I mean, the card does look mint, not even dust on it. No cracks. The connector, the pins on the connector, they look good. The pads. What can possibly go wrong? Memory or core, right? What else? For the most part, unless you are working with an EVGA 3090, then you can be 90% sure that we're going to have a shorted 12 volt rail or a blown fuse on back of the board. 101 issues. So the only thing we have present on the board is 5 volts, 1.8. And you know what? I did not measure the pads on the connector. Let's go ahead and do that now in diode mode. We do not have a short here, 0 0.5 voltage drop. And our 3.3 volt line, same thing, 0 0.6 voltage drop. So we do not have any issues there, just making sure. What? Uh, I already found it. I already found what the problem is. Can you see it? I'm going to give you three seconds. And you're going to win a million dollars if you know where the problem is in Monopoly money. Look at this. Look at this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Let me continue with the board. Maybe we have other knocked components. That's why visual inspection is important. Over 50% of cards or devices that we get in the shop, we are able to tell where the problem is by just looking at the board. Visual inspection. A good microscope to see all the components, like this microscope that I'm using, the Northridge Fix microscope. If you're a hobbyist or in the same type of business, you have to get one. It's not an option. Just log in to northwitchfix.com, click on shop, add to cart, check out, pay, and we almost always ship out same day. We have everything from this amazing microscope, the articulating arm, the bulletproof, built like a tank, articulating arm for this microscope, the anti-glare light, ring light, original Amtec flux, because we are a major distributor of the flux, as you already know, tweezers, braid wig, pliers, Soldering station, hot air station, thermal cameras, everything in one shop. Just add to cart, check out, pay, and we ship quick. If you have ordered from us before, you know how fast we ship. So the only thing I see wrong with the board is this guy right here. Right there. That's the bad guy. Say hello to the bad guy. Should we use hot air to solder that knocked off resistor or should we use a soldering iron? It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to use, as long as you do the job. Fume extractor on, hot air station on. Hopefully this will solve the problem. I'm being too optimistic, but who knows? You know what, before we lose that component, let me measure and see the value of that component because I have a feeling 
that component is going to escape to the ninth dimension. Let me measure if I can measure without losing that component. I'm using the NF dot probes, the best probes I have worked with since we started the business. Looks like a two ohm resistor. It could be zero ohms. I'm reading two ohms. This could also be an inductor. I cannot tell. I do not have any schematics. I do not have any board view diagrams. But let's try not to lose that component. If we do, I'm going to replace it with a 2 ohm resistor. That component not making a connection will break the circuit. It's not a bypass capacitor that we can skip. This component will break the circuit. Whatever it's breaking, for all the scientists out there, if you want to know what that component does, you can do your thesis on it. Come back, leave a comment, and let me know what it does. In the meantime, we're going to solder that component, test. If the card is working, invoice, and mail it back to the customer. Next, we keep the ball rolling. Okay, so what we need to do is use our anti-glare light because reflections is getting in the way. We do not like reflections to get in the way. So let's do this. Bye-bye reflections. And we are done, right? We want to make sure this component is making a good connection. It's not shorting out with its neighboring component. And the component is making a connection. Let's test in diode mode. Do you think this will solve the problem? Leave it down in the comments. Now. Do not skip. How optimistic are you? I'm reading 0.47 voltage drop on both ends. And if it's my lucky day, like every day, every day is a lucky day for me. Some viewers, they leave comments, you're lucky, you're lucky, you're lucky, you're lucky. It's a good thing. I've been lucky since 2014. That's a good thing. Card is plugged in. I'm telling you, this card looks like a joke. I don't know. It looks like the size of my watch motherboard. We're going to plug. I cannot plug an HDMI connector. I cannot plug a display connector. So we're going to have to have an adapter to convert HDMI to this mini display port. I do not know if I have one. Just a minute. Bummer. I do not have that cable. How can we test the card? I thought I had one, but I do not think I have it. I have a lot of adapters, but not this one. We can test for the six beeps before the card was not detected and we heard the beeps, six beeps.
if we do not get six beeps I'm gonna call it a fix I'll order a cable tomorrow or today off Amazon we'll get it tomorrow and we can verify that the card is working but I would like to finish the video with a display on the screen but if I don't have a cable what can you do I do not have the cable. Let me go ahead and turn on the power supply. I want to see if we get six beeps. If not, there is a 99% chance that the card is fixed. On. Are we going to hear six beeps? No six beeps. No six beeps. We don't have six beefs. There is a very high chance that the card is fixed. One thing we can do, aside from the card not beeping, it means, which means the card is detected, we can actually measure voltage rails on the board to see if we have voltage on those inductors that read zero volts before. I'm going to turn the card on. Okay, I wish you can see my multimeter, but it doesn't matter. You're going to just have to trust me on this. I'm going to start by measuring the inductors on the right side. We have two of them. And both of them were reading a zero before. Now the power supply is on. And if we measure, let me turn off and back on. So I have 1.2 volts on the lower inductor. That's probably memory. And the top one. The top one, I'm also reading 1.2 volts. So now we have voltage on those two inductors. I'll show you which ones. Let me measure the one below it, the black one. That tells me that the card is functional now. We have memory. And the black inductor is reading 0 0.76. That's core. 0 0.76 is core. And the GPU, is it hot? Yes, yes, the GPU is hot, and we are reading 0 0.76. Awesome, awesome. What else? Do we have any more inductors on here? Yeah, the second inductor on the left, the first one was reading 1.8. I want to know what the second one reads. Zero point nine six PEX. So here, let me turn the power supply off and tell you what's going on. So based on my finding, PAX is right here. Okay, PAX is right here. And PAX is reading 0 0.9 volts. The one next to it is 1.8. Core is the black one that you see right here. And the top ones, those here, are reading 1.2 volts each. All voltages are present. And right now, we're going to deem it a 99.99% .99 fixed. But of course, I will verify before we mail it to the customer. Before we end this video, make sure to check out our new Northridge Fix DIY channel. I posted a video today on this main channel about a garage home gym promoting the new Northridge Fix DIY channel. If you do not know about it, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Make sure you subscribe. We're going to cover everything from home improvement, reviewing tools, interior design, garden, pool, home gym, game room, everything DIY. It's going to be a lot of fun. Do not miss out. Log into the channel, subscribe, and I will see you there as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. My lucky day. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.